Uh, good morning everyone. Uh, so today we are going to be discussing about this public switching telephone network as well as a mobile phone system. So what is meant by this public switching telephone network and what is mobile phone? So the public switching telephone network apparently we calling as a, a landline communication network which means how the signal is transmitted through the landline communication and after the landline communication when you go for this the wireless communication how the mobile phone signals are transmitted. One is go for this a guided communication, another one is we go for this unguided communication. One is the uh, wireless communication, another one we calling as a wireless communication. As we discussed in previous session, the guided media and unguided media, how those two things are helpful to develop the mobile phone network or a telephone network we discussing in this session. So, when you go for this public switching telephone network, we calling as a, a plain world telephone system. The public switching telephone network we also calling as a, a plain old telephone services that we calling as a, a landline telephone services how the landline telephone switch is works so while we uh, develop this landline communication we having as a first thing we calling as a base station is there and this base station right this base station is connected to our home network our home supplies value source and our every home network they must be connected to the one kind of base station value right so but in the base station they may connect to the multiple home network values only a number of home network values only. based upon the frequency structure we are using the base station we can able to manage the n number of home network channel values only and every base station is connected to the one main station right which means here, the main station can able to handle n number of base stations. A main station can able to handle n number of base station. But one base station, the must be connected to the one main station values only. And this main station is connected to the, the bridge or else the bridge network values only. And from this one to another main station, another base station and the receiver home network values only. Right. So, this kind of structure went establishing while the number is dialing from this one place station to another station values only, one source to another destination values only. So, while see here in the plain world telephone system values only. So, this is the value which means the call sent values or as call received values only. Apparently, we calling as my home network values only. From the home, I can able to dial the respective person number or as I can receive the some other number to calls. I can send the calls as well as receive the calls. Call is transmitter and call is receiver. But how it's established based upon the base station value only. That we calling as a terminal point value only. What is terminal point? Terminal point we also calling as a, a base station value only. So here base station can able to handle the call transmission as well as call receiver to the respective person value only. That is the advantage of this terminal value only we calling as a, a base station value only and in the base station that is connected to the a switching telephone network value only a central office mechanism value only that we calling as the main station value only what is the main station main station apparently we calling as a, a switch telephone network value only which we calling as a, a central office phone communication value only so this central office network, a central network values only that can able to handle the n number of terminal mode values only, n number of base station values only. And after this one, we connected to the tandem office or is it connected to the another central switching office values only. When you go for this STD level or ISD levels, we are going to use this tandem office. We calling as a, a center office or a ridge office, a bridge network between the one main, main station to and another main station value only that we calling as a tandem office. So this is the placing is a vital role to connect the between the one area network to another area network value only that is the importance of this tandem values. And at the same time again we connected to the a reverse manner terminal to the home network of the receiver person value only. Assume that for example I need to dial the person from 040 or 080. So apparently this I as a, a Bangalore code. So when you go for this one, I can able to dial the person from Hyderabad to Bangalore region values only, which is the form of the 080 code values only. So when I will dial the person, right? So from my home network to I'll dial the respective number values only. So this number is dialing to the base station values only and base station to main station values only. 
in the main station it can able to get the number that should be received to the bangalore station so this main station is sent to information tandem office so this ridge office this tandem office is connected between the hyderabad zone to bangalore zone value only so that is advantage of this tandem offices and next one is we calling as a, a mobile phone system so after the drastical change from this landline communication to a mobile phone communication level so in the later 1975s after this medium when go for this landline communication to a mobile communication a revolution is comes into the picture they develop and as a mobile phone system so what is mobile phone system mobile phone system we calling as a, a wireless communication domain system value only as we discussed in the previously a plain old telephone system that we calling as a, a landline communication we calling as a, a guided media communication value only but while the revolution comes to the picture from this wireless communication the mobile phone system that in the form of this wireless communication we calling as a unguided transmission media communication so the first generation which means the first developed the system first developed the mobile communication system the first generation system which is introduced in 1979 at jepal so there we having as a one kind of a, a one kind of nature is there one kind of structure we developed that one with help of some kind of antennas we are using that one there in the a limited range of antennas we are using that one that we developed in the 1979 the, in the japan so atmel anti which is at anti and this ntt collaboration developed this a first generation of mobile phone values only so in the 1981 which is nordic mobile telephone system was launched in the european countries as well which is Amritech launched in the first generation in the USC, which is a Motorola mobile phone value only. But what is the advantage of this mobile phone in the first generation? In the first generation mobile phone, we can able to talk to the peoples, we can able to speak to the peoples, and we can able to send some kind of SMS. A limited range of SMS it will be possible in the mobile phone system value only in the first generation system. But after the second generation system so second generation system is switching into because in the first generation system we are using this a uh, unlike communication but in the second generation switch system which is using into the a uh, digital system system value system, which means the communication is drastically changing from this unlike communication to a uh, digital communication cable that comes up picture in the second generation so after this digital communication evolutionary started so the gsm is comes to the picture what is gsm here a global switching mobile network is standard in the finland so that is a comes to the picture in the 1991 the second generation mobile phones are launched but what is the advantage of the second generation compared to the my first generation in the second generation we are using in the digitized and compressed manner only in the first generation we are using analog signal but in the second generation signal we are using in the a digital kind of structure values only in the analog kind of structure some signal may damage or some signal may loss but when you go for the digitalized structure values only in the form of this binary information values only that should be a more efficient on a frequency using the first generation system and this should be introducing in the uh, second generation communication on the time we are able to launch in this sms manner as well some kind of extra short range kind of texting message also is possible in the second generation and so this should be in this first generation the system should be analog kind of structure we are unable to encrypt the data but in the data kind of signal in the second generation when you went into the digitalized manner so what kind of information transmitter there should be data or our voice there should be a digitally encrypted value soon which means that signal should be secure and we can able to avoid the fraud communication because unknown person can, cannot able to authorize our voice web message or else our sms values also that should be a secure way that should be in encrypted manner values only and but the disadvantage of this thing should be the battery power is very less because how much amount of energy we are using that one so the battery is not sufficient use of entire day values so that is a one of the disadvantage in the second generation system but while we entering into the third generation system in the 3g mobile phones in the 2g mobile phones we are unable to operate in the internet values but while once we enter into 3g communication the third generation mobile phones we are able to operate the 3g internet that we calling as a 3g internet the third generation internet mobile phones are 
launched in the mobile communication system which is the wireless mobile communication system so it promises the data quality and multimedia service as well in the second generation we can able to use in this sms only but in the third generation we can able to use this sms value as well as we'll go for this mms value multimedia service also is launched at the 3g mobile phone system what is advantage of this 3g mobile phone system compared to 2g in the 2g system we can able to use the internet but should be very limited structure values only and the speed should be very low but while we in the third third generation the internet structure is very high because i can able to use high speed communication is possible and also data rate the data transfer rate also is very high which is 0.2 mbps 0.2 megabits per second value so the data transfer is very high and we can able to using the second generation system we can't label we can we have a restriction to using the global level services value so but in the third generation system we are using this a global roaming service also possible we can able to communicate from anywhere to anywhere in the world that should be possible and that kind of feasibility we have in the third generation system value so and when you go for this the second generation system the second generation system we are not able to using this the system come kind of structure which is the playing music values but in the third generation we can able to launch in this playing music values and uh, watching the videos and but we have some kind of buffering is there based upon our frequency structure where is that one but we can able to play listen the music and we are watching the videos all kind of television service also available in the third generation system these kind of services not available in the our second generation system and so this process access of all advanced internet services because when we uh, surfing any kind of web pages that is also possible in this third generation system and after this third generation we enter into the fourth generation system in the later on 21st centuries we are entering the fourth generation mobile phone system which is the a broadband cellular network services we are using that one so that is the very much high kind of data transfer rate compared to our 3g network so here every kind of fourth generation system it provide all the packet switching network is transmitted in the previous we are using we are using the a circuit switching network but in while we enter in the fourth generation system we are using as a, a internet packet ip packets circuit switching we, we are using that one so that should be emission of this transmission of voice signal data signal and in the multimedia signal and when we entering into third generation we are facing the issue of this uh, buffering of the videos or while and internet service also very slow because of this data transmission rate is very limited but while inter- entering the fourth generation system the data transmission rate is improved from 0.2 mbps to in the form of this gigabits per second value so so high data rate is there so i can able to access the long range communication signal and a global kind of communication signal can able to using that one i can able to contact the person from anywhere to anywhere in the world with the help of this roaming kind of structure values we have using that one at the same time the when we use this voice and data signals all these are encrypted values and that should be in the secured values should be available in the fourth generation and at the same time here we are using this quality is an interrupted services because when you go for this any kind of system when you go for this anywhere in the world we are maintain the high quality and interrupted service also provide in this fourth generation system because the data quality is very high if the data quality is very high i can able to access the system i can able to surfing the web pages i can able to watch the videos or any kind of uh, access of this things i can able to drafting the mails i send the mails to from anywhere anywhere in the world that should be feasible we having in the fourth generation system and now the people are planning to launch this 5g so what is the 5g communication in the 5g communication system the fifth generation system we can able to operate our mobile phones or as we can able to operate the uh, uh, tv kind of services in the long, short range kind of service also we can able to operate through our mobile phones that kind of feasibility we have with, uh, in the fifth generation system at the same time the data rate is very high the data rate is very high while we compare to the previous generation system that should the first generation second generation third and fourth gen- generation so i can able to access the multiple people and a number of systems you can able to access at a time that kind of multitasking also feasible in the fifth generation system so while you come in the first generation system second generation third generation and fourth generation so when go for the da- a revolutionary system should be happening because in the first generation we are in this analog kind of structure 
but in the second generation onwards we are using the form of this a distillized manner a distillized structure we are using that term and when the things are changing we are using this sms manner and we are in this mms manner also and now we are using this any kind of services the data rate is increases the i can able to transmit the mms within the seconds range value soon that kind of emission is possible that kind of evolution is possible in the signals are changing the generation of systems are changing that is a feasible of this mobile phones and so in this session we are discussing about this two things one is a public switching telephone network value as well as a mobile phone network value only so in the public switching telephone network values which is a apparently calling as a landline communication system value only in the mobile phones we calling as a, a wireless communication system value only so in this communication level we are discussing about this the generation of this evolution of this mobile phone communication which is first generation second generation third generation as well as we discussing about this fourth generation value so that kind of evolutionary process is possible in the uh, wireless communication mobile phones compared to our landline phones that is calling as a public switching telephone network so th those topic we discuss in the in this session in the next session we discussing about this the revision of this complete network thank you